welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am discussing about the what is the main difference between a static class and a singleton class so let's start from the static class a static class is a class in which we cannot create an object or instance of this class so we why we will use this class because of that we cannot create an object and instance of this class because static class have their properties or method that has been shared among all the applications and if we want to implement a logic or implement a data that has been shared among all the entities or all the object of the class then we will use a static class so for example if uh, our application if we have a company and a company have an application uh, in an application a company name has only on only one company name and only have an one address so then we will use the static class and static variable and store the data uh, store the company name and company address and these two data has been shared among all the application of the data it means in our application in every place of the application that we will we will access the same values of this variable so that the purpose of the static class data has been data and a code and a method that has been shared among all the application of the class so this is the purpose of the static class and this is the purpose of the why we cannot create an instance of the class that's the reason so in c sharp we will create a static class by using a static keyword and if i create a object of this static class i am trying to create an object of this static class then this will uh, this will throw me an error that a stat cannot create an instance of the static class so this is the first property of the static class and now if we cannot create an instance of the static class then we uh, how we will access the uh, static methods or static properties of the class uh, because in object render programming language a static class uh, in every class we will ac access properties or method by using an object in uh, only and only one way by using an ob object then we will access the methods or property of the class then uh, and in a static class we cannot create an object then how we will access the properties or method of the class here is the simple answer a static class methods and properties has been accessed by using a class name dot methods or property name for example if we i create a property my prop and i create a method 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 and static class have another day property if we create a static class then all the properties or variable or method must be a static it means in a static class in every methods members of the classes must be a static we cannot declare a non static variable non static properties non static method in a static class we can do we cannot do this so i will create a static property and a static method so i will create these uh, method and a uh, properties so i want to access these two things because of that if we cannot create an object of this class then by how we will access this we access this by using a class name dot my prop this my prop and dot my method so that's the way of accessing the static class variables properties or method so these are this uh, are the way of the static class and the next thing is the static class the main functions and main core or difference of the static class is that we cannot use the principles of the op it means we cannot implement an op functionality we cannot implement any inheritance we cannot uh, using a, a override method overload method we cannot use a polymorphism we cannot use a it means we cannot use the principle of the object under programming language for example i will create uh, i will create a simple class class a 
and if I want to implement an inheritance of the static class then it will not allow me to a static class cannot drive from a type it means static class cannot use the inheritance properties or it cannot use the object rendered or cannot follow the object rendered rules if we declare a static class also then it will also throw me an error so static class cannot follow an object rendered rules so this is the main purpose main feature of the static class and the next thing is that static class cannot pass in the method parameters because uh, if we i create a method public void my m and if we want to try to pass a parameter of the static class in this method then it will throw me an error because of that this we this parameter this argument is a static argument and we cannot use this in a method parameters body it will throw me an error my static class types cannot be used as a parameter so this is all the function features of the static class and static class is a is not a design pattern and it's because of that it does not follow the object oriented programming rules and uh, principles of the object oriented so it will cannot it it does not have any uh, design pattern so this is a static class now i am discussing about the singleton class uh, what is singleton class singleton class is a class in which we have only and only one instance or object of this this class in our entire application singleton means single only one instance we have only one instance of the singleton class singleton class have is a design pattern because of that singleton class will implement an object oriented principles and in a static class object object oriented principle does not follow a static class and in a singleton class we will use object oriented principles and rules so this is the main difference between a singleton class and a static class singleton class follow the op rules and static class does not follow the op rules so this is the main difference and singleton class have an create an only and only one object and static class does not have any object so this is also the main difference in between these two classes and singleton class pass uh, by in a method parameters because for example if i create a class a and we i pass this class for example this is a singleton class and we will use this class as a matter parameter and in uh, uh, as described in a static class we cannot use static class as a method parameters and in a singleton class we will use a static a singleton class in a method parameter so it will allows me and singleton class is a simple design pattern because it will follow the object oriented programming rules so this is the main difference between the static class and a singleton class the major difference is that static class does not follow the op rules and it does not in implement an inheritance and singleton class follow the op rules and it will implement an inheritance or it will uh, static class by by default a sealed class which means we cannot drive the further classes and singleton class purely implement a object oriented rules and these are the main and core difference of the static class and a singleton class singleton class has only and only one object static class does not have any object and singleton class for example if we want to implement a, a, a if in, in our application uh, in a connection string database connection string only one object we will use the create and connection of the object create and connection of the database so we cannot uh, we try to implement a singleton design pattern that has only one object and this object will perform a connection string create a connection string uh, closing a connection opening a connection that purpose of the 
application of the singleton class so this is the main difference and core difference of the static class and a singleton class so i hope you will understand it stand this please uh, subscribe to my channel thanks